Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to IWE Backlash live from Saudi Arabia. Somehow we managed to have the money to rent this place out and uh, put on a pay-per-view. So uh, I am Jimmy Bly alongside Christopher Pierce and Kyle Matthews. And gentlemen, we're starting things off with our United States Championship match. Yeah, we well, I was about to say, it's going to be a triple threat match. Who would AJ Styles have to defend it against? Here's one of those guys right here, the Miz. Most people would think that AJ Styles coming into a match where he doesn't have to necessarily be pinned or submitted to lose his championship. But uh, let's not forget, guys, that last pay-per-view, he defended it in a fatal four-way and overcame the odds. So uh, I'm not putting AJ Styles at a disadvantage in this matchup. Oh, you certainly can after that after that great performance there uh, from it, for him to retain the United States title. And here's a guy right here that never lacks confidence. Oh yeah, never, never lacks confidence, and the Miz will definitely let you know about it. I'm just curious to see who this uh, who this third who this uh, third person is going to be. I mean, we all know about AJ Styles, but uh, that's the one thing about IWE is that you never know who's going to be in what match. Miz going to have uh, a tall task to try and set a precedent here tonight of uh, maybe a scene several new champions. He'll look to leave payback as the USA lister. I see what you did there. That was clever. I will give you that one. That was clever. All right, who's coming up next? Huh. Well, this is... Well, uh, all the... I'm, I'm lost for words here. This is interesting. Smile on my face. In my opinion, maybe one of the best on the mic when it comes to promos. Unbelievable heel persona and backs it up in the ring. Michael Jacob Friedman. That's for of all the... Or Maxwell. Uh... Maxwell. I wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I really. Uh, <laughs> All the tension that's going on between him and management over in AEW. Uh, is he auditioning here for a for a full time job here at IWE? Nope, not after I botched up his name. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like Fandango all those years. Every time you mess up his name, he doesn't wrestle. And of course, we know who this last person is. The man with arguably the one of the best theme songs in all of professional wrestling. I definitely agree with that. I'm not big on rap, but uh, this one's awesome. And he's been United States champion for a good four months now. Can't say AJ Styles is not one of the one of the better wrestlers out there. It, he proves it week in and week out. You guys but, know AJ Styles. He's uh, up in my top ten of best wrestlers of all time. So no argument here. You know, we ended up mentioning the fact that he defended the title in a fatal four way, but this is the first time he's ever faced off against the Miz or MJF. Uh, in a regular wrestling match. I believe he and The Miz both took part in this past uh, Royal Rumble, but uh, they've never actually been in the ring in a championship battle, to my knowledge. And of course, uh, nobody here on the IWE roster has taken on MJF, so he's making his debut here tonight. MJF definitely the wild card. <laughs> on the line. Well, AJ Styles gave us basically our template of how to win this matchup uh, last pay-per-view. Try and get one of your opponents to the outside of the ring, make it a 1v1 matchup, and try and slip in and take advantage. I mean, AJ spent most of his time in that fatal four-way outside of the ropes, but he capitalized when it mattered the most. And look at AJ Styles right there, just kind of standing back, letting Miz and MJF go at it. But now as soon as I say that, the Miz goes over to uh, Styles and looks like he's going to recall oh. it. 
Styles laying him out, now going after MJF. And nice, looks like an arm breaker. Oh, Miz has always won the gloat. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, on social media, people have been talking about a match between The Miz and MJF. And, you know, aside from having AJ in this match, it's kind of what they're getting. Getting it right now as The Miz was going to work on MJF. Now it turns his attention back to the champion. MJF doing what he needs to, going back and forth between both competitors in this match. Working on The Miz's arm, though. AJ, I don't think that's a good idea. I thought at the beginning there that we were going to end up having a, a 2v1 with MJF and The Miz teaming up together, but uh, that alliance quickly evaporated. Now they've posited the champion to the outside, so keep an eye on this battle inside the ring because you could see the title change hands right here. Miz cocky as ever. Kyle, you talked about it. He's not afraid to show it, not afraid to, to blare it out to the world, his confidence. Absolutely not. I think people might question uh, his style at times. Uh, he's just throwing AJ Styles around. Are you talking about his AJ style? No. Okay, I, I went for it. I mean, you know, and, and The Miz has backed it up as well. A former WWE champion, a former Money in the Bank briefcase holder. Two time. Oh, was it a two time? Two time WWE champion, two time Money in the Bank briefcase holder. He's the second only person to hold a Money in the Bank briefcase. Oh, third. Third person to ever hold a Money in the Bank briefcase okay. twice. Got a, well, got a chair no, from underneath fourth. the ring. No disqualification. And going right after the Miz, laying him out with that chair. That's a triple threat match. No disqualifications, as you said. So. Oh, a neck breaker oh, right on the chair. I think I think his back of his head definitely made contact with the steel. What the hell? MJF with a tombstone. Sorry, that's just foreign to me. Like, I know there are other people that do the tombstone pile driver, but, like, it's just so foreign to see somebody who's not the Undertaker do it. Kane does it. Okay, that's not the Undertaker or Kane. Over there, and Styles quickly breaking it up before the referee can start the count. I saw the Miz was setting that chair up in the corner, and uh, the chair was deposited oh, the outside. Getting, but, whoop, as, calf crusher. If you have to do a crusher and... Miz doesn't let it happen. We saw the chair, it got deposited to the outside. Let's uh, be Miz. clear as there's a cover. <laughs> Miz, I think you're getting a little too cocky. Uh, the chair was not eliminated from the Royal Rumble, went through the ropes, and no, all four right. legs did not hit the floor, so. <laughs> oh, Miz, Miz had hit the line. Uh, the referee took forever to get into position. See, that's the kind of strategy you need to have. Uh, Miz saw the MJF was laid out. He took out AJ Styles and went for a pin attempt. And oh, Miz, hold on. Miz held on. Miz, is, <laughs> Miz isn't eliminated yet. Not yet. First right. He did a really good job of keeping an eye on the pins and covers. Uh, last time out at Night of Champions, uh, maybe a little jet lag here. Traveling to Saudi Arabia with how slow he got over there to that cover. and Probably oh, doesn't want to be there. Yeah. Oh! Miz there? What's Miz doing? What could Miz be thinking? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh Miz. Figure four. Figure four leg lock on MJF. The AJ Styles is outside the ring. Gotta hurry. AJ's gotta hurry. His title hangs in the balance. Oh, look at MJ. MJ reversed. He reversed it. Styles tried to break it up, but he kept the hold intact. MJF, get, MJF getting the hell out of Dodge. Styles going after the Miz now. Uh oh. A ladder now. MJF bringing the bringing the weapons in the end of this match. Oh, he changed his mind apparently. Oh. I just didn't see more of that in the uh, Fatal Four Way last last time out. Well, I guess it just depends on the people in the match. Oh look at uh oh uh oh. Able to go into the ring. Styles clash on Miz, or excuse me, MJF. Sorry, Miz was in the corner. Styles went for a cover, and I forget Miz is in green. Him 
Michael, you call him Miz. Yeah, MJF is not going to be coming full time to IAW. <laughs> oh, Miz is hammering away. Now. I like how he's. I like how you also said IEW. He said IEW. It's I clearly IWE. Public service announcement: Do not get old. <laughs> oh, nice combination. By AJ Styles, first the back of Miz's neck to the knee, and then delivered to the canvas. And now AJ Styles has MJF all to himself. I agree with you on the don't get old statement. Once you hit 30, it's all downhill from there. I know. I got one more year before that happens. Actually, no, I got half a year until that happens. <laughs> oh, it's MJF. Got this right over here who's ageless. MJF off of the rope suplex. Where's Miz going? I think MJF might have a cut there around his right eye. Now Miz now with the oh. ladder. And that hit the back. The in the ring, but here's MJF with a cover. And Miz quickly breaking it up before the referee can count again. A well nice spot by the Miz. Miz has got to stop being so cocky. I, I don't think that's possible. Uh-oh. Look at this. Look at this! What the heck? What kind of submission is that? Like a reverse cross arm breaker. I I I don't know, I can describe it, but I, I can't call what it would be. By the way, uh by the way, Christopher, I think you were right. Uh MJF does appear to have a cut above his uh I believe that's his right eye. Oh! Oh, he's going for the cover! This could be it right here! Is that enough? Oh no, AJ just kicked out of two. Slight moment we saw uh, Styles go to the apron. Oh, 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 oh. He's thinking about a Styles clash, but now look at it. Looks like uh, MJF again with that whatever he calls it. I don't. That's, yeah, it's, I think it's like a reverse arm breaker. He's got Miz and Miz is in trouble. Miz's arms and AJ able to. Almost reminds you of like a, maybe a bridging bow and arrow. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. I've never seen that before. Goes for the cover, isn't enough, and AJ kicks out. And a couple of times there, I thought AJ might be down and out, but the resilient champion fights on. What, what, let's talk about MJF. I mean, this guy is impressive. AJ. <laughs> Could oh. he possibly take the IWE? United States Championship back to AEW if we ever see him back in AEW. Goes for the cover. MJF, I think you're a little too far away there. That's a big leap. Yeah, okay, good. He noticed that too. <laughs> AJ kind of just down and out there. I'm mistaken, guys. I believe that uh, this triple threat match has gone a lot longer than the Fatal Four Way match did back at Night of Champions. So you're, you're right about that. I don't know how long exactly uh, that match went, but we're basically now getting to see. Oh, look, just on the ladder here. Oh man, look at the cut on his eye. I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe that laceration Ooh. has uh, made MJF take it to a new level. Sometimes when you literally see red, it ends up basically uh, putting you into a rage. And MJF, I mean, my goodness, look, look at the shots right up under the chin. MJF has been in control of this match for the last several minutes. And a big outlet in the slam there by MJF on the AJ Styles. Well, MJF's from New York, so... Not sure why he was paying tribute to Alabama. Oh, look, he's going to go for the cover on AJ Miz watching. These these three have put on a hell of a match. It's just the opening match. Now Miz. Working on MJF, trying to move him somewhere. Cover, maybe? I don't know what... Irish whip into the corner, out of over top, and the Miz has been eliminated from the Rumble. 
strong DDT there by AJ Styles. Nice neck breaker combo. Oh. AJ thinking. Phenomenal forearm. No, he missed. Miz rolled out of the ring now. An opportunity here with Miz outside the ring. Styles again going to the apron. AJ Styles, what's he gonna do here? Phenomenal forearm! Ball game. That enough, is that it? And the phenomenal one, once again, retaining the United States Championship. All three of these guys have to be spent right now. What a physical match to start things out. Great matchup. Absolutely. AJ Styles, one of the greatest wrestlers, gets to keep his United States Championship another month. His theme song says, nobody breaking this rednecks. Nobody has since he's gotten that championship gold. Fans have voted three and a half. I think a little bit better than that, but. Well, we're gonna switch gears here after this. It is now time for our women's championship match. Carmella putting her title on the line again here in Saudi Arabia. But the question is, against who? Who? The other question is, well... That answers our question. The other question is that answers our question. I believe this is... Two months in a row for Bailey. It is. I was, I was wondering if I was uh, going back in time. And this is going to be interesting, too, because I was going to bring up the question of, you know, will Carmella's opponent be able to last more than five minutes? Carmella's been very quick, very efficient with putting away her last two opponents in the last two pay-per-views. Well, it's Bailey's big... got a little bit of a playbook to be able to go back on here from Night of Champions. So we'll see if she lasts longer. And something we have to keep in mind is the Money in the Bank winner, Sasha Banks, who all three of us just uh, completely, completely forgot. forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sasha Banks has got to be watching this match. Uh, Very you know, closely. Money in the Bank still in play, and that's going to be in the back of the minds of Bailey and Carmella. Bailey says, play fate with yeah. Bailey claims she can beat Carmella. She, she says she knows she can. She, she complained on her talk show and social media about being able to, to beat Carmella. And I guess IWE officials have granted her a second chance at doing so. Well, she couldn't beat her last time out, so. They both, Carmella and Bailey, know each other uh, very well. They used to. No, they were really good friends in their days down at NXT. The self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of professional wrestling. And like I said, she is a beautiful woman, but I don't think she's the most beautiful. This is interesting. We don't really see. We haven't seen a whole lot, uh, really back to back. Basically, rematches at pay per views here in IWE. That's very rare when they do happen. So we'll see what Bailey can bring to the table. And I want to go back to what uh, what what Christopher said. Can Bailey beat Carmella, and or can she outlast at least five minutes in this match? <laughs> Bailey is a very quick earner, very quick study. Certain that she has a game plan now to face off against Carmella. She, she has any answer for whatever Carmella brings to the table here. I mean, again, like we said, Carmella has been very quick to put away her last few opponents. 
see if she tries to get the early pin here again tonight in Saudi Arabia. Bailey has to probably knows that uh, she isn't if she's not successful here at defeating Carmella. No matter how much she complains, I don't think I don't see her getting another title shot. You know, anytime soon. I think she'd go. I don't know if there's anywhere further than the back of the line. If there is, that's where she'd be. All right. Well, match has started here. Quick kick by Carmella. It's Carmella taking the upper hand. Saw Bailey in the money in the bank. Uh, ladder match. She actually came out holding a replica money in the bank briefcase, kind of calling her shot there. And she was unsuccessful in that match. Now she gets two title matches in a row. What do you think the rest of the women's locker room feels about this with Bailey getting the second shot? I'm not too sure. I'm sure some of them are probably not too happy about it. Look at Bailey going for a quick. Quick cover, he got a two count. Might be trying to play some mind games there against Carmella. Trying to go for that early cover. Certainly not going to put Carmella away that easily. Mere seconds into this matchup, but you certainly could. If you can affect your opponent mentally, you might be able to overpower them physically. It's a heck of a clothesline in the corner there by Bailey. Like I said, Bailey quickly trying to come out of the. Uh, come out in the match already with a, with powerhouse moves. A nice move from the middle rope there. Gentlemen, while this man, oh, hold on, quick cover. Here, uh, will Bailey get it this time? Only a one count. Gentlemen, later on tonight, actually, I think it's our next match. Hell in a Cell for the Intercontinental Championship. I'm looking forward to that one. A Hell in a Cell match of all things to determine the IC champion. I mean, Wait, Barrett, the newly crowned high seed champion as he defeated William Regal in our last pay-per-view. I don't know, I kind of feel like Wade Barrett would feel right at home inside of a steel cage. Absolutely, now look at Carmella with a single leg Boston Crab on Bailey. Bailey able to fight out of it. I'm just slamming Carmella into the canvas. Bailey's been in most of this match, I mean, well, it's Bailey Bailey. what an opportunity here—a rematch for a shot at the, a rematch for the women's championship. Trying to take advantage of it, and now Carmella trying to get back in this match. Nice oh. face Almost reminds me of the Bella Buster, the Bella Twins used to do back in the day. Look at this. Uh oh, what's? Oh, what a DDT by Carmella. Look at the nonchalant cover. Oh, ba Bailey's foot was under the rope. Referee saw it. Oh, and a kick. That could be it right there. We've seen Carmella put Bailey away with that last time. Moves Bailey away from the ropes this time. Is that enough to put Bailey away with the kick? And it is. Well, once again, Carmella putting away Bailey in pretty quick fashion. I have three words for Bailey. Ding dong, goodbye. <laughs> Adult, you waited this entire match to say that, didn't you? Hey, I didn't know if Bailey was gonna lose or not. Well, yeah, yeah, you didn't, but if, if she did, you had that ready. Yeah. <laughs> Carmella holding on to the women's championship here in IWE. And it seems like every time she wins the match, she just is as is, is excited as she is it's when she first won the title. Well, Carmella is not Goldberg, but uh, I'm left here after this match just thinking, who's next? I mean, who, who's going to step up to the champ? So far, since Carmella won the gold, nobody's been able to hang with her. I'm willing to bet that her next title defense will not be against Bailey. Yep. Good call. It, it's very, very... You will probably win that bet. Up next, Anal Continental Championship match. Who's Wade Barrett's opponent going to be? Inside Hell in a Cell. You see it right above the ring. Well, I'll answer your question partially, Michael. Uh, one of Wade Barrett's opponents is going to be the Steel Structure. It's basically an opponent in and of, in and of itself. So uh... That's very true. Wow. Oh. Come on, we haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, Jordan Devlin. I'm gonna 
perfectly honest with you guys as well. I have not really followed Jordan Devlin's career all that much. I know a little bit about his background, but... Uh, he goes around claiming he's the next Finn Balor. I'm not, I'm not familiar with him at all, so this is a real... Real surprise for me here. Interested to see what he can do here in a center cut middle title shot inside a Hell in a Cell match at that. So, uh, former NXT Cruiserweight Champion. What a way to make your uh, debut here in IWE if he's able to defeat Wade Barrett to become the new Intercontinental Champion. That was, but that is no easy task. Oh no. Just ask William Regal. Yeah, we saw that match between William Regal and, and the Wade Barrett, and man, those two just beat the ever-living hell out of one another. I can only imagine how this match is going to go. Those Irishmen, I'm telling you, they uh, Irish and UK people, they, they really like to brawl. Well, if they use the cage, Kyle, then they'll be uh, beating the living hell into each other. Wow. Quite literally, yes. Where are you coming up with this stuff? I got some sleep last night. I'm ready to go. IWE Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. Well, guys, I say lightning never strikes twice, but let's not forget that last pay-per-view, Wade Barrett made his IWE debut where he left Night of Champions with the Intercontinental title. Jordan Devlin would love to have that happen here tonight as well, making his IWE debut. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned, uh, you know, the Jordan Devlin, a former NXT Cruiserweight Champion. Well, Wade Barrett, you know, he's a part of the commentary team down at NXT, so he's gotten to see Jordan Devlin in action. So uh, he probably knows a little bit of, of uh, what to expect from him. That's very true. Big difference, though, watching from the commentary table and stepping between the ropes. So we'll see. How well Wade Barrett has been able to study Jordan Devlin and if he'll be able to put it into action here. And again, we, we have to keep talking about it here. That third member of this battle, that cage, how much will the Hell in the Cell structure come into play? Well, we've seen Hell in the Cell matches before where uh, it's, definitely coming, it's definitely coming to play and was actually a determining factor for a match. So... I remember back, uh, I don't remember which pay-per-view it was, but I remember the tag team titles were on the line and Cage never came into play. I don't even think that uh, any of the opponents went outside of the ropes, so we, we had ourselves a Hell in a Cell match, but it was basically uh, a regular matchup, excuse me, a regular matchup in the ring. Well, the Intercontinental Championship has been held by a number of individuals since we popped over to the IWE brand. Wade Barrett, of course, William Regal. There was, there was some guy who was before Regal. I can't quite pull in who that was. I heard he held the belt for quite a while, though. Yeah. I think I could remember his name. Oh, well, it'll come to me. can't quite put my finger on it. I'm not sure why I'm touching Kyle. <laughs> Here we go, and Jordan Bevlet going right after the champ. Wow! Not gonna lie, I wouldn't want to face uh, Wade Barrett inside Hell in a Cell. Devlin, though, right out of the gate. High-flying, high-octane offense here. What you gotta do, keep Wade Barrett from getting to a vertical base. Not well, like Devlin bringing out some lumber. I think it's safe to say, even just from the, the physical standpoint, Wade Barrett has the advantage in power. Devlin gonna have to try and counter that with his speed and his quickness. I was wondering and if we were gonna maybe see maybe I, thought, I thought they were just gonna walk around the ring for the rest of the time. That would have been quite boring, but possible to have a musical chairs match inside Hell in a Cell? Well, don't give the creative team any ideas. Uh, I was going to say, is that even possible? I don't know. 
Well, these guys are anything, definitely anything's possible in the IWE. Something, it's, something Vince, well, something Vince Russo. Any, any, anything's possible within limitations in IWE. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, kick wow. right to the back of the neck there from Barrett. That was a bullseye. Good gracious. Well, he's talked about Cage coming into play. Ooh. Man, I think I think uh, Wade Barrett would fit in perfectly with the brawling brutes. Put him together with Shane. Oh. And... What, just rename him the League of Legends? The League of Legends. Oh, excuse me, the League of Nations. Sorry, I was thinking about something different. They might get a lawsuit if they call each other League of Legends. But... <laughs> Guys just throwing each other around on the outside of the ring here. Really? Oh, God, right into the steel steps. Brent Devlin doing a good job of using the steel structure as his ally. Delivering Barrett to the cage, to the steel steps, trying to wear him down. I noticed the incredible size difference between the two of them. It's not really coming into play here right now. Oh my gosh! Gosh! And it broke! The, st the cage broke! Did it? Yeah, they're outside the outside the structure. Oh, wow. well, yeah, they sure did. The the structure. Remember, pinfall and submissions can only count inside the ring. I was wondering, could they possibly break this thing open? And now well, that certainly answers the question. And now they're oh, backbreaker. Very Man. dangerous part here. Yeah, they seriously are. Oh, Barrett trying to block. Look at Barrett fight back. Well, guys, I hate to bring up past ghosts, but we have seen... Oh! oh gosh, was that the Black Hole Slam? I think so. But we've seen in the past here in IWE, we have seen individuals go off of this structure to the floor. Matt, Matt Riddle, to be exact. That's I don't right. Know how, I don't know how he's still standing right now, but... I know. And Wade Barrett trying to defend his championship here. Oh, look at this. It's a mission move by Barrett, but it's not going to count if he's not inside the ring. Yep. Kind of a camel clutch there by Wade Barrett. Working on the lower back of Jordan Devlin. Oh, nice escape, though. Wade Barrett's chin, I think, just bounced off that steel beam. Oh, my goodness. A jawbreaker. There might not be anything left of either one of these guys to get back in the ring. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, a Spanish fly. I've walked on chain link fence, but it's vertical. It, it's very springy. I mean, how do you even get the leverage to deliver a Spanish fly up there? I have no idea, but Jordan, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Lord, what's he thinking here? Oh my God. Uh -oh. Well, that's one way to get somebody back into the ring. That was, I'm not, I don't remember what he called his finisher, but that was it. Going for the cover on Wade Barrett from the top of the cell. Did it. Barrett wow. is out cold, and just like that, another new Intercontinental Champion in their debut match. Wade Barrett hasn't moved. That's how you make a statement right there. And did you guys see the thing that was incredible before we even had that pinfall? Jordan Devlin kind of was hanging from the top of the cage. He landed on both feet back in the ring. That yeah. Show how this guy is. I'm I don't know what it does. Look up talking about him. New what in his head. Our new Intercontinental Champion. And gentlemen, next up, it's time for some IWE Championship action. Roman Reigns is going to be putting that that championship up on the line. But our question is now is against who? Who is on Roman Reigns' list for championship matches? I thought Jericho had the list. I thought who was on first. 
be surrounded by idiots. How's it gonna be? Oh boy. Well, you knew they had to get somebody big for a Saudi Arabia trip. He's taking on Invisible Man. And we're still waiting for Roman Reigns' opponent to come out. Right? I don't know why they're playing some weird hip hop music. I don't know. Well, whoever the opponent is, they gotta come out soon. Oh, there's a random banner that, or a towel that was just up there at the top of the ramp. That was kind of spooky. All jokes aside here, uh, this is a big Who's match. joking? <laughs> <laughs> joke, 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 joke. That calls for big match, John. No, uh, <laughs> Mad Cat Moss is not a part of this. Right? <laughs> Man, but he's... But he might very well soon be. I, I, I think he might be part of this this year, and at some point, unless he's not, unless he wasn't part of the DLC announcement. <laughs> yeah, it's to ruin the immersion. This is a big match, and it called for big match, John. And really, this is a WrestleMania quality caliber match here. I mean. We've seen these two go at it before, and both times in their one-on-one -on -one encounters, Roman Reigns was able to conquer John Cena. All these two go at it last year at SummerSlam. That's true. Roman Reigns brought the title reign of Big E to an end last time out at Night of Champions. Roman Reigns, a former tag team champion with Brock Lesnar. He's now, at least as far as I'm aware, the only individual that has held two different titles here under the IWE banner and is looking to continue on this reign for a long, long time. But, you know, you alluded to it, Kyle. Very formidable opponent in John Cena waiting for him. And they don't call him Big Match John for nothing. I mean, this, this is a big matchup. We're in a big venue. It's not one of our... Uh, Round four, if you will, but certainly one that I'm sure that has a lot of hype and a lot on the line for both individuals. Of course, Roman flagged by his special counsel and Paul Heyman. And we saw Heyman come into play in that match that Reigns had against Big E. So John Cena might be at a little bit of a disadvantage, not only having to take on Roman Reigns, but has to deal with Paul Heyman on the outside. But we've seen Cena overcome the odds several times throughout his illustrious career. It's this all-inspiring entrance here by Roman Reigns. He takes it all in. Let's not forget, Money in the Bank briefcase holder, Edge, waiting in the wings, depending on what might happen in tonight's matchup. Edge is no stranger to either Roman Reigns or John Cena as well. In our last pay-per-view, we saw the Usos, Reigns' cousins, lose the tag team titles to the New Day. And later on that night, Reigns came out and brought back some championship gold to the bloodline. So maybe I'm just now noticing this, but I feel like that gold gauntlet on his right hand could be a Thanos reference. <laughs> yeah, Roman Reigns was secretly Aquaman this whole time. So we have Aquaman against Superman. Oh, this will be oh, fun. I mean, wasn't wasn't uh, Momoa? Is yeah, he's, he's Samoan, so that Jason, makes sense. Jason Momoa. Yeah. I mean, he looks like he could be related to Roman Reigns. He does. It really does. I thought Austin Owens were related. You're right. <laughs> and this match is only, this entrance is almost as long as The Undertaker's. Right. And half this match was just Roman Reigns' entrance. It hasn't even started yet. 
Well, fans letting Roman Reigns know what they think of him. It's pretty interesting. This match consists of, uh, you know, two people who have been pretty polarizing over the course of their careers. It'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, whose side the crowd takes. Man, too bad there's nobody in Roman's corner. Big fight feel here in Saudi Arabia for this match. Paul Heyman on the outside could be playing big dividends for Roman Reigns in this match. He talked about how long Roman Reigns' entrance was. Uh, don't tell the head of the table this. Made me a little bored, so I went on to Wikipedia. Uh, Jason Momoa is actually not Samoan. He's actually uh, native Hawaiian. Uh, also traces back to the Pawnee ancestry of uh, Indian tribe that was in northern Kansas. Also has a German and Irish heritage. So no Samoan heritage. Wow, him, you so were no, really no, bored, no, were you? No relation. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to look it up because he already did. That's right. Well, Let's match has started now. Let's the history lesson. Now on to wrestling. Yeah. It's slammed there by John Cena. Go for it. What? Cover what? Right away. Heck? It's Cena trying to get into, trying to get into the head of Roman Reigns early on here. Well, I, I say Roman Roman's boot got into John Cena's head right there. Certainly did, quite literally, now into a... I he's going for a neck breaker and sets the punch into the back of the neck. Yeah, I don't think that... I think that upset Roman a little bit, don't you guys think? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think I think he'd be mad. Now look at Cena fighting back here. A couple of right... <laughs> Cena going for that slam again. On the cover this time. Now Cena going to the top. Unusual territory for John Cena. Don't see him go up to the top row very often. Oh, and he hit it. The leg drop. Dropping Roman's head right onto the canvas. On the side of Roman Reigns' head. Now he'll start working on Roman's leg. And then Roman will start working on John Cena's face with his boot. Man, anytime you see John get a little offense here, Roman just comes back with anger. And we've seen how Roman gets when he starts getting frustrated. Covered by Reigns now. Cena didn't even... Ref didn't even count to one. Roman. Cena there to the middle of the ring. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know who you'd give the power advantage to here. I think they're they're pretty equal. Oh, well, Cena reverse that, and oh, and Roman over the top rope. Well, Roman Reigns will not be going to WrestleMania to face Roman Reigns for the championship. He's been eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Referee counting. Some God, look at these punches. This match we do. Big time slam there from Reigns. Not sure what that was, but now Cena grabbing the legs. Reigns count is at four. Get the punches by John Cena now. Reigns already more than halfway to the ten count. I don't think Roman Reigns would be all that disappointed if he gets a count of victory here. Title would not change hands, but Cena not going to allow that to happen. Oh, a Falcon Arrow there by John Cena. Cena going to try to move Roman away from the ropes, it looks like. Are you going to go for a cover after the Falcon Arrow? We'll see what Cena gets. Only a one count. Oh, wait a minute, Cena. Attitude adjustment, is that it? Are we gonna see a new champion? Ooh, close. A lot, Not a lot of, to... well, there wasn't a lot of power there behind that kick out for Roman Reigns, just barely got the left shoulder up, and now... The five knuckle shuffle by John Cena. Worst wrestling moves of all time, but anyway. 
Osina went for it again, but Roman reversed into the guillotine. This is how he, how he defeated Big E to win the championship. And a lot of competitors with this move. Oh, look at the strength of Cena. Just pure power, able to lift himself out of the guillotine. Uh, have in mind here, going for a... Oh! Larian from the top rope. Yeah, referee not in position, goes for the cover. Is this enough? I don't... And a kick out by Roman. Again, a really Cena. good cover by Cena. Not much of an escape route for Roman Reigns. He just barely was able to get the shoulder off the canvas before three. Nick going to the second rope. Oh, a DDT. Yeah, right off the... Don't forget it's like a gut wrench of some sort. Yep, a and gut wrench slam. Picked up Roman Reigns from the mat. Ooh. The hyper extend the elbow. Neck breaker there by Roman Reigns. He's quickly going to go for the cover. And kick out a one. Oh, now Roman's getting frustrated. Yeah, Roman, Roman looks surprised he could put him away with the neck breaker. It's going to take a lot more than that. Well, Roman so far is yet to get any higher than a one count on John uh -oh. Cena. Cena's been close uh -oh. to Cena winning the title a couple spot. of times. Spear! Spear by Roman to John Cena. And now he's going to cover John. Is that enough to put him away? Like that. Wow. Just one spear is all it took. Not sure. A very, very good victory for our champion. Retains the title. Referee says, okay, that's enough. I'm out of here. But John Cena looks a little frustrated. A little disappointed. I really believe he was close a couple of times getting that championship. Came up just short and left the door open for one of those horrific spears, and it was enough for Roman to retain. A decent match here, but we're going to switch gears. Our main event tonight is our tag team championship match. The New Day puts their titles on the line. I mentioned earlier, it's rare to see a, a rematch of back-to-back pay-per-views, but... How about part three? I think we're past part three with these two teams. I mean, this is a never-ending rivalry. Two of the best tag teams of their generation. The Usos trying to bring uh, it. I, I want to I will say, I want to say Roman might have had a big heavy hand on getting the Usos this match. You know, I'm also going to, I was just about to mention the fact that, you know, last pay-per-view, the Usos were unable to get the tag team titles. Roman Reign then came out not too long after, I can't remember if it was the next match or two matches after the Usos match, showed him how it was done, got the title from Big E. Talk about him having influence here. I'm wondering if maybe he lobbied the IWE officials to have this match be after his title defense to show the Usos how it's done, give them a little bit of confidence coming into this matchup. Very well could have. We know the power that Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman have backstage. Hey, it's very rare to see Roman either not be the first match or the last match. And here come the tag champs and Bringing pancakes for everybody here in Saudi Arabia. Playing this kind of match, I mean, we've seen the New Day and the Usos go at it just countless times over the last. I don't know how many years, five, six, seven years, however long it's been. These two teams know each other so well. I mean, how, how do you really give you know, one team the advantage over the other? 
Well, I'll give the advantage right now to the New Day. I think they've got to be oozing confidence. Two pay-per-views. They won the titles from the Usos, becoming the first two-time IWE Tag Team Champions. And then last time out at Night of Champions, successfully defended them. So, so far, you know, in the, in the last couple of months, it is two New Day, zero Usos. Actually, I'm pretty sure the New Day won the titles at Night of Champions there, uh, Christopher. Mm, yeah, he, nope. they, they won the titles at Night of Champions. Yes, they did. Or I should say they lost, the New Day won, and the uh, Usos lost the titles at Night of Champions. Ernest Wright should, should be smiling knowing that this is the last match of the day, but that man never smiles. I think he and Roman Reigns would be real pals. I think they have the same expression usually when they're in the ring. Well, another traditional tag team match. It's Kofi Kingston, and I believe that's Jimmy who is so starting things out. Yep, it is Jimmy because of the, the red highlighted around his name. So glad we figured out how to tell them apart now. Yeah. Well, single leg box and crab. Look at Jay going right after Xavier Woods. And just in case he tried to break up the submission. Nicely done there by, by the Usos. Oh, what a DDT there. Nice combination move by Jimmy and Uso. Here comes Jay. Main event, Jey Uso. I would stay. I would have stayed on Kofi right there instead of uh, trying to taunt a little bit. But that's exactly what he's doing now. And yeah, wasted so far, valuable time. Uh, so far, early on into this match, but uh, Kofi Kingston has not gotten any offensive in yet uh, whatsoever. A nice headbutt. Slide. It was a headbutt. Uh, headbutt. I'm sorry. At least that's how it looked. <laughs> Oh, what's, oh, what's no Fancy strength. doing now? Look at this, and nobody home. Hey, okay, so with a high-risk maneuver there, came up empty. Think Kofi Kingston trying to take advantage of it. Tag now, Jimmy legal. Kofi trying to crawl to his corner, and Jimmy Uso needs to stay on him. Nope, he allows Kingston to make the tag to Xavier Woods. That could have been a costly mistake right there. And now a fresh Xavier Woods coming in, but he immediately gets delivered to the canvas. Uso showing a lot of aggression so far in this match. I believe they are fired up. Not only losing the tag team titles the last time out, but you know, their cousin going out winning the IWE World Heavyweight Championship and then successfully defending it just one match ago. Tag is made, Jey Uso now legal. Nice teamwork here so far by the Usos. And Xavier starting to get some offense here now. Xavier loves to have fun before the bell rings, but he has an aggressive side once that bell is finally rung and the match is underway. Now Jey Uso trapped in the corner of the New Day as a tag is made. Kofi now legal. Give me a nice double team there by the, by the New Day. Like drop by Xavier, splash by Kofi. And now Kofi lowers the knee right to the bridge of the nose of Jey Uso. New Day trying to get, trying to build some momentum here. It was like keeping them in their corner here, but now Jay trying to fight back. Jay's got to get out of this corner and into his own. Goes for the cover immediately on, yeah, goes for the cover and only a kick out at one. Proper tag team strategy right there, trying to cut the ring in half, keep your opponent isolated in your corner. Preventing him from making a tag. That's what the New Day is trying to do right now. Is uh, Jay Uso is in the corner of the New Day. Oh, Kofi, Kofi with the two class. 
little bit of a suspended suplex there, trying to allow the blood to rush to the head of Jey Uso before delivering him down with the suplex. Goes cover. for a cover. Kick out before a one count. Seen a lot of that here tonight. A lot of covers being made and a lot of kickouts for the referee and even his hand on the mat. So it's that or Ernest is just slowing down. It's, oh, oh, nice neck breaker there from Kofi Kingston. As I'm not too sure, but I think that when we saw Kofi deliver the knee earlier on, might have broken Jey Uso's nose. Very well. Okay, it's very possible. He seems a little bit out on his feet. It kind of will mess up your equilibrium. Makes it difficult to breathe. I do believe I see some blood there on the face of Jey Uso, but here's a cover by Kingston once again. Is they able to kick out at two. And Xavier Woods uh, thinking Jimmy was going to run in there. And yeah. now Kofi Kingston practicing his moonwalking. Oh, he's going nowhere fast. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and then a lot of time to Jey Uso to recover. Not too sure what's happening. Theme so yeah. Oh, it's that's a, a good movie. We, we should have a movie night and just watch that. I mean, you know, if Dwayne Johnson ever shows up, we'd be watching a Rocky movie. Okay. All right, well, now, uh, now that, that concludes the comedy, comedy portion of this. <laughs> I uh -oh. guess Kofi Kingston uh, forgot his time on the, forgot the good of the treadmill this week and allowed Jey Uso to recover and deliver a super kick. Treadmill USA. Oh, I was wondering what that was on the impressive DDT. I thought it was kind of submission at first, but then a DDT. Here's tagged with Xavier Woods. Bit of a submission move here. All right, I guess he's just going to look at it. Jimmy just standing there, he takes a, it's a drop kick for his uh, lack of effort, I guess you could say, and now Jimmy Uso is stunned on the outside of the ring with Jay Uso with nobody to tag. I think Jay would, oh gosh. Goes for the cover. No Uso to help save it, and it's over. That was a heck of a drop onto his face there. Well, we know, I don't think Roman Reigns will be too, too excited about that. Absolutely not. I mean, once, you know, in this match, once the New Day took control, uh, they never lost it. Uh, he also looked like he was going to break up that pinfall, then stopped, and probably in a small voice went, ooh, he's candy. <laughs> yeah, well, the New Day able to ooh, hold on. <laughs> he and landed hard on the outside, and... The New Day retained. Yep, and a very odd match, but the New Day, congratulations to them. Guys, we'll see you guys next month for Survivor Series.